Okay hi guys, so today we're just going to be doing the Collatz Conjecture. Um, as you can see here, yeah, the Collatz Conjecture is a conjecture that a particular sequence always reaches 1. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to read up more about it. Um, it hasn't been proven or verified but you can still write a Python program about it and it can also give you a good understanding of how powerful Python actually is. So yeah, let's get started. So first we're going to make n equals int input please enter a number other than zero cool now we're going to say if n one we're going to tell them use a positive integer And if they don't, or when they get it wrong, it's going to exit so they can do it again. Because if you don't enter a positive integer, this will just loop and loop and loop and you won't be able to exit it. So we're just doing that as a precaution so people don't enter an infinite loop. And we're going to make a steps counter. So you can just see how much steps it takes for uh, the sequence to reach one. So there. And now we're doing the while loop. So while n is not equal to 1 so it's going to continue this until it's um, equal to 1 then if n modulus 2 is equal to 0 and n is equal to n integer divide 2 we're doing the double slash there so it doesn't give us a floating number it gives us a rounded off number then else n equals 3 times n plus 1 print n and then the steps plus equals 1 and you can do steps equals steps plus 1 but I mentioned in the previous one this is a better way of doing that and then the end here print total number of steps and we can just do that as a comma and then steps Okay, let's give it a quick try. Into another oven. Let's do quickly minus one. See, it told us you know you can't do that. Um, now it's into a positive number. Let's do twenty-three. See, it took us fifteen steps. Let's try again. Let's try a bigger number. Forty-nine steps, and you can do this to a ridiculous extent. You can go. I mean, look at this. 935 steps and it still reaches 1. I mean, look. And now I'll just show you what happens if you don't uh, have an exit sign there. It will just loop if you put a number less than 0 in. Or 0. See, it just carries on looping. It just won't stop. Um, and that's obviously bad. You don't want that to happen. And if that happens, just click Control C or end your program over there. But yeah, that's the Collins Conjecture in Python. And you can, like I said, you can enter a ridiculous number, not zero, whoops. 669 steps. It's pretty cool. And it gives a good understanding of how powerful Python actually is. Let's just do one more time. <laughs> Instantaneous. So yeah, thank you for watching.